Uh, good afternoon, Parramatta. We're here today to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, and our friend. Uh, and I'm going to quote some of the Bible to you today. And it's from the, the uh, 2 Peter, and I will quote it as I go through the chapters and verse. And so the, the, the deity of Christ is evident in the way that God and Christ are closely linked in 2 Peter 1, 1 and 2. God knows Christ as his son, 2 Peter 1.17. The divine purpose and activities are centered in Christ Jesus as his grace and power are given to believers who are to look for his coming, 1.16, and the arrival of his eternal kingdom in 2 Peter 1.11. Everything that I'm saying is from the Bible. It is the scriptures that assure the believer of a destiny with Jesus Christ. 1 16 21 and 3 1 2. The Holy Spirit provides the divine power that makes possible growth in the grace and knowledge of Christ. 1 2 8 3 18. 2 Peter 2 8 says uh, that you will not be barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 1 4 get an, uh, the great and precious promises that uh, these uh, 5, 6 and 7, through these 5, 6 and 7 verses, again it says, you are neither barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now how does this fantastic truth come about in our lives? Father God, our Heavenly Father, desires that we invite Jesus Christ into our lives, become a member of God's family and receive the free gift to enter heaven forever when we die. And that's in Psalm 37, 39, says salvation from the Lord. And then the Holy Spirit comes into our hearts and life and he draws us to Christ and uh, convicts us of our sin, enables us to accept Christ as our personal saviour assures us of salvation, enables us to live the victorious life, understand the Bible, pray according to God's will, and share Christ with others. In the Bible, uh, jo uh, Jacob did sinful things, and don't we all say, but we're talking about Jacob. Now, God spoke to Jacob and he said, I am the Lord God. That's his straight out statement. I am the Lord God. He loves to speak to you and tell you awesome truths. Genesis 28, 15, God says, Behold, I am with you. I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. It's not a mighty promise. Now, who would you like you to be in his presence? And because of what Jesus did, we are able to go into God's presence at any time. When we believe in Jesus and he rules in our lives, God is able to work miracles in our lives. The Holy Spirit comes in power and love and gives us a sound mind and we have sound discipline. We then, under his teaching and illumination, read the Bible and see God's awesome deeds. God brought Rachel to the well to the water the sheep, and his plan was for Jacob and Rachel to marry. It's one of the most romantic, trusting God stories in the Bible. Will you allow God to wreck your life, surrender your will, yield to him in prayer, and lead a God-centered life? When things are hard or joyful, he is there to succor you. It doesn't matter what the circumstances, he is always nearby. His hand is always extended out to you in love and unconditional love. When you ask Jesus to be your Lord and Saviour, friend and intercessor, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you receive the free gift of eternal life in heaven. Picture yourself in a place of love, joy, peace and creativity, having the unconditional love of God every moment. There is no sickness or evil in heaven. There is joy in dancing before God's throne, adoring him in awesome wonder. Allow God to work miracles in every aspect of your life. James 4.14 says, You do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is in a vapour that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. James 4.14 Invite Jesus into your heart and know your future. Believing in Jesus, you need to exercise your faith. Faith produces in us right living, right motives and right relationships. 
Our good works confirm that faith is alive and active in us. Seek to live your faith daily in practical ways and God is glorified. The Holy Spirit will teach and illuminate. Heavenly Father will show you his characteristics such as mercy, forgiveness, goodness, graciousness, long-suffering and give you, as I said before, unconditional love. All he requires is for you to say you're sorry you've done things wrong and then his forgiveness and mercy is able to flow. And so I would like to leave you now with a prayer, uh, a blessing, a uh, priestly blessing prayer by, given to God by Moses and Moses gave it to Aaron, the priest, his brother. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Praise your Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.